Hello, welcome back to another video. <laughs> chair is squeaky. I feel so professional sitting on a chair. Echo! Oh, it echoes in here. And that was the fridge just turning on. I'm gonna respond now. <laughs> when I was 15, I went to Paris for a school trip. I now I'm 20. And I live and study just outside of Paris. The experiences that I had when I was 15 compared to today have been completely different. When I was 15, Paris was my first big cultural experience with a different language, a different city, different architecture, different shops. Completely different co compared to the modern Melbourne that I know. Was it worth it? Hell yeah. <laughs> I was in awe, completely mesmerised. For the entire two weeks that we were there. It was amazing, exciting, and I loved every minute of it. It felt magical and new, and I got a taste for what's, you know, what's really out in the world, what other stuff I can experience compared to what I was used to at home in Australia, because, you know, we were quite isolated on that side of the world. Okay, it started. I loved Paris so much that when I was 19 and looking at countries to do my exchange at, I couldn't say no to Paris, the, the city I fell in love with when I was 15. That was until I got there. Don't get me wrong, I love it here, but I see it completely different compared to when I was a kid. I notice different things, it's not as exciting. Um, I notice different things like how busy it is and that you should avoid going there on the weekends because of tourism and that almost every metro station smells like urine and the pickpocketing and the amount of smoke and cigarette smoke in the atmosphere. Just the things that I was oblivious to when I was younger because everything was so new and exciting but I guess because I've been here before I'm seeing it for a second time I'm seeing more detail the bigger picture and also I'm older so I'm not I've never been a fan of big cities so of course I don't like crowds but when I go into nature it, it's beautiful but those were just a few negative things. I, on the other hand, it has been so nostalgic to reminisce the places that I've been before, going back to the Sacre Coeur, my favorite French monument with the best views. And finally getting to climb the Arc de Triomphe. Thank you. Because I didn't get to do that last time I was here, so it has been really wonderful. I, I'm just seeing it from a different and older perspective. I'm honestly just so grateful to my younger self, who loved French so much that she persisted in learning the language through high school and a little bit in university. I never stopped dreaming, because if it wasn't for her and her choices, I wouldn't have this opportunity to live here. Not gonna lie, I could totally stay here and live here. And that is the dream, the goal one day. And this is just, this is honestly just the start of my journey. And now that I've got a taste for life in France and Europe, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna work to make it permanent one day but for now thanks for watching and feel free to like subscribe i enjoy making videos so thanks for watching again bye